Hey YouTube, I thought I'd make a quick video here. Some people kind of wonder what a piece of dry ice will do to the coolant temperature of the water. So when we see here, take a quick initial reading, uh, 66.7. Probably going to be around 66 degrees so we'll just get our baseline here and there's our chunk of dry ice it's probably maybe a pound or so i don't know uh, a pound maybe a two pounds pound and a half of dry ice. so as you can see i dropped the ice in here that produces a ton of gas co2 gas if you were actually to do this um, you'd want to have a vent in your tank somewhere so, you know, probably on the top so the gas could get out. Because if you were to put the lid on here, you know, it would probably build up pressure if I was to seal that. And I don't think that would be a good thing. So we'll go ahead and we will let this run its course. Uh, it might take about, uh, I don't know how long this will take to completely evaporate away, but maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. And then we'll come back and we'll take a post reading. We'll see what we got then. All right, so we're about 15 minutes in, and you can actually see we have condensation on the outside of the box now. So it's actually getting pretty cold. Let's do a quick temperature reading. And about 50 degrees or so. So that's a drop of 17 degrees in about 15 minutes. We'll let it keep going, see how much lower it'll go. All right, so it looks like the block of dry ice has completely evaporated away. You can see that there's heavy condensation here on the tank itself. Let's get a measurement reading inside and see what we got as far as water temperature. And it looks like it's stopped around 50 degrees. So it started off at about 67 degrees, and now we're at 50 degrees, so about a 17 degree Fahrenheit drop. And of course, this is without the water circulating. Let me turn the pump on here, and let's start circulating this water. Of course, the rest of the water in the entire system is not cold. So I presume that this water is going to heat up relatively quickly. And of course, if you're driving around and getting into boost, or if you're on a track, it's going to uh, get this water hot very quickly. The dry ice ain't going to do much, but if you wanted to use it in between rounds or something like that, I guess, you know, you could definitely do that. And it looks like we've stabilized right around 55 degrees after running the pump for about a minute now. Yep, looks like we've stabilized right around 55 degrees. So there you have it. Dry ice does work, obviously, like it should. Um, if you were to do something like this, I would, you know, have a couple of vents and uh, route that away uh, down under the car or something like that to route the, uh, the gas away. But there you go, guys. Question answered. Stay tuned for more videos, and feel free to like and subscribe if you want. Thanks, guys.